This is a mistake I made recently, which I caught and corrected after realizing how awkward the code was becoming. In fact, I've fallen into this trap quite a few times and probably will keep doing it. I think this exact mistake is where a lot of code bases that use RxJS go wrong. It's how the code can become extremely messy and hard to debug, and probably is the cause of a significant amount of negative sentiment toward RxJS and declarative code. I'm going to walk through the exact mistake I made recently and how I made it. I'll just be changing the details to be a little more generic, but it will still be the same situation in spirit. So let's say we are tracking some data for some items in a warehouse. I get an initial set of data for these items, and then I need to create those items in the application. So I might define that declaratively like this. My scenario was doing a lot more stuff here, but this is the fundamental idea. Take in some data, create some kind of representation of the items from that data, and then return the collection of items. This so far is adhering well to the benefits I am aiming for from declarative code. This items declaration is a complete definition of what the items are and how they change over time in the application. No other code outside of the declaration changes how these items are defined. But now we get a new requirement. As well as having a representation of these items, we also need to know where those items are in the warehouse at any time. Let's say we have a grid-based zone system. I want to easily be able to look up which items are in zone 3, for example. This should be pretty easy. We'll just create a map when creating these items and assign them to the appropriate zone based on their location from the data. This seems clean enough, even though this is the exact moment that things started to go wrong. We now have our items declaration return both the created items and our map of zones to items in those zones. If we take a moment to examine this, we can quite easily tell that it's not quite right because our items declaration doesn't just return the items. It returns the items and the zone map. But this is a detail that is easily missed and at this point in time doesn't actually matter all that much. But now we get some more requirements. Not only do we need to create our initial set of items and the grid representation of where they are, we need to be able to move items around the warehouse. This means that the map that represents which zone an item is in will need to be updated. We have the full power of RxJS at our fingertips though, and so this should prove no problem at all. We'll just keep digging a bigger hole for ourselves by doing this. Now we still just handle the initial creation of the items and the zone map in the first map operator. And then since we need to update the map every time item moved emits after that, we switch to that stream with concat map where we handle updating the zone map. This works, but it's starting to feel a bit awkward and complicated, and my actual code felt far worse because there was a lot more going on. But the reason this code is becoming so awkward and hard to work with is because it's breaking that fundamental idea of a declaration containing the entire definition of itself. Our items declaration contains the entire definition of itself and the zone map. The solution here is to break these two things up into their own definitions. Now the declaration of zone map defines and returns the zone map, and the declaration of items defines and returns the items. The zone map uses scan to create the map once initially, and then every time item moved emits it will update the zone map. The items declaration just creates the items as usual, but the big win here is that by separating the declarations and definitions of these two things, it better adheres to the actual idea of coding declaratively, not just doing things in streams, and makes the code more modular, easier to manage, and easier to read. If you found this video useful, a like or subscribe before you go would be greatly appreciated, and I hope to see you back here again for the next video.